Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm in a workshop today. I'm going to be installing a few upgrades to the engine. I haven't done too much to the 75's engine recently, the snorkel and the air box. Other than that, not a lot. <laughs> I mean no step for now. Okay, so video one, we're going to be doing the Ryko fuel filter. I already run a Ryko fuel filter and have for many years, so this is a secondary one. It also has the water separator on the bottom. My factory fuel filter has a water sensor on the bottom, which is quite a loud alarm for when it detects water. I've had it go off twice since owning the car. I think having a water separator in the system is something I probably should have done a long time ago. The Ryko kit, it's a 10 micron, so I think I'll be looking at changing this one and the next service to maybe a 4 micron. Extra things that I had to grab um, was some fuel hose, well as hose clamps. So yeah, we'll pull this apart and have a look. All right, so this is the Ryko fuel water separator kit. Obviously comes with the 980, which is the 10 micron. Um, and I'll be looking for next service to go to a 981, which is a four micron. So a little bit more important for newer cars as opposed to an old diesel like this one. Newer cars have injectors that don't like large particles where I think mine would probably run on anything. So you get two filters. It's your sediment bowl. Uh, your top mounting plate. Your inlets and outlets. And they also give you a series of hose barbs and bungs to blank off the two that you're not using. We're just going to assemble one of these filters. When the first time I had water uh, in my fuel was just a service station down in Brisbane. So it doesn't even really have to be, you know, out in the middle of nowhere where you can get contaminated fuel, whether it be with, with water or just particulates in there. It's damaging to your engine, um, especially your injection system. So that is the entire system. You can get shorter ones of these as well um, if you don't have the room for a long one but a lot of newer cars only have real narrow sections to fit things in. I'm going to remove this battery tray mount and put in this bracket so that both the catch can and the fuel filter can be mounted on the same bracket. So you're going to need the bolts and also stag for all the barbs. <laughs> So we're going to go in that one and we'll come out this one. fittings in and we're going to grab this fuel line here to go to this barb and we'll run the other side directly to the pump. Right, which fuel line to crack first? Oh, it's going to be so fun. Fuel line has probably never been off. Where do I want to run said hose? Alright, so chopped a length of fuel hose. Dropped a hose clamp. It didn't hit the ground. That's the outline. 
Why do I keep dropping stuff? Now that the fuel filter is installed, we're going to bleed the system because obviously we've just introduced a heap of air. straightforward mod probably should have done it you know seven years ago <laughs> but yeah I think it's it's a handy thing to have and I know when you get your first four drive it's exciting to do all the cool mods but sometimes it's best to do mods that are gonna save you money in the long run especially if you plan on having the car for a decent period of time which I always had gonna feel a little bit more confident now when I start going to places like the Cape and more remote regions like Simpson Desert where you know you your fuel quality might suffer a bit at fuel stations, so having those two fuel, fuel filters is going to be a bit more peace of mind. And the housing feels solid, um, the bowl doesn't feel cheap or plasticky, like everything feels really good. You can mount this before your factory fuel filter, so as a pre-filter, um, but then you'd probably want to drop down to a smaller micron for your secondary. All that's going to happen now is if I hear the water alarm go off, I know that there's water at the first fuel filter and you can maybe monitor planes. Planes so annoying. You can't tell when you're an airport. Damn planes. Probably monitor the secondary fuel filter then and look for water in that bowl and drain both fuel filters. Reprime the system and go again. Maybe drain the tank if you think it's that bad. Overall, great mod, easy to do. You can do it in the backyard, there's no reason. I only did it here because my shed's a mess. So yeah, next video, I'm um, going to be installing the catch can or the crankcase filter, so stay tuned for that one. <laughs>